That's it. Hey everyone, Mark Gibby Dude here reviewing Sonic IDW issue 68. The story starts off with Sonic and Tails on his stream gear looking for the Emerald. Tails is testing his gear by racing Sonic to the Emerald. Things are looking good until Sonic trips and falls into a hole. Tails tries to reach him, but his board malfunctions, causing him to fall as well. He gets hit in the head, and before they can try to get out, the way out is completely shut. Thankfully, it looks like the Emerald's readings are strong here, so it may be down there with them. As they start to walk, they notice some pickaxes on the ground, unattended, meaning whoever was working there left them in a hurry. Hmm. They spot what appears to be daylight until they reach it and see it's a big, beautiful area, and the Emerald readings are off the charts, meaning the Emerald is close. As Sonic starts to walk and sees right under some bushes, when all of a sudden, a giant salamander comes out and attacks him. Sonic tries to defend it off as best he can, but no luck, so he asks Tails for assistance. Tails has an idea and is working on the airboard, and tosses it to Sonic in time. So, when Sonic asks if he has a plan to stop that thing, Tails says he doesn't need to, as he is noticing that when Sonic is near the environment, the salamander attacks, meaning it's protecting the area. Sonic tells the salamander why they were here. He tells it that it can keep the emerald if it wants to. But if they don't take the emerald with them, more and more people will come looking for it to disturb its home. Hearing that, the beast shows on the way out. Once they get out, it's already sunset. Sonic closes out the entrance to the cavern. Tails is bombed as he wanted to learn more about the area. But Sonic knows that the creature wanted to keep its home safe, so closing it off for more intruders was the right thing to do after it helped them. With the emerald in hand, they set off to get home, and that's how this issue ends. What? That's it? Uh... Okay? What? So... I am... Confusion? This story wasn't what I was expecting, like... This felt like a standalone story apart from the main story. I did say in my Winter Jam review that maybe the Emeralds will play a part in the main story later down the line, since they've been collecting them all, but this didn't really feel like it was part of the story. They don't even attempt to figure out what this area is about, or what the story behind why the Salamander is that huge, or why it has those markings on its body, or why or how the Emerald winded up there. Um, I feel... underwhelmed? This was underwhelming. I didn't hate it, but it was such a random story. Like, at least I thought we'd get a small tease at the end about what's to come in issue 69, or they'd rotate in between stories of the cave and the restoration. But now we have no idea what's to come. Like at all. Let me get the positives out of the way. Um... Sonic and Tails' dialogue is always a joy to see. Um, the environment's art style was beautiful, and the creature did leave me pondering about the area and the creature itself. Those markings have to mean something. I did see a salamander go into the water, but I don't think it was the same one, because that would mean the water turning into that. I'm pretty sure the others may never go back there unless story demanded it. So, negatives. Um, it didn't really seem to do anything at all to the story, aside from getting the Emerald. Again, I do think they'll be used in some way down the line since they've been collecting them all. But, uh, like I said, it has nothing to do with the main plot going on. No mention whatsoever about how things are going back to the Restoration. And they don't do anything with the area. We get there, get out, close it off, never see it again. So, like, we had all these story things starting off with the misadventures that played a part in the main story and then go veer off course. Many of us assumed that, one, we'd see the bad guys up to something, or the protector would be Stitz's modern version, or that the final half of the issue would showcase Clutch initiating the plan to attack, or Amy would be calling Sonic and Tails back to the restoration because the attack was already happening. So, now we have to wait months to find out what happens next. I don't know when they're going to show solicitations and covers of issue 69 and beyond, but I am very just, eh? This issue didn't really do anything for me. It felt like an annual or side story, if anything. 
They go from the great issue 67 to this is a whiplash. The art was nice at least, but that's always a given with these comments. So after this, the main series takes a break, and then it will just focus on the Fan the Hunter classic comic series. It will just have four issues, and then once it finishes, then the main comic issues will come back. The date of its exact return, I have no idea. None of us do. They haven't specifically said when, just after they wrap up fans' comments. So, we just gotta be patient and wait. Oh, man, I am just... Man, I'm bombed. What do you guys think of this issue, and are you guys gonna pick up the fan comments, or just wait till the main comic issues come back? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys when the main issues return, because I'm not the biggest fan the Hunter fan, or classic Sonic series fan, so I won't be reviewing those comments. Eh, at least I get a break from reviewing. Take care.